in the morning, but I need you now. Yeah, yeah, I find the why, give me what you need me, I know what you like. I feel it coming, tell me that he gets it. I try to need you, but I need some lessons. I need your gift. See, I took out the flexi rods and I went ahead and styled the hair. This is how I've been wearing the hair if I'm not wearing it like pushed back. Um, one thing I wanted to address is that none of my tape ins came out. None of them came out. And I know I did not do the best install, but I did what I could. And none of them came out. Now, if you guys watched, you guys saw me. Uh, if you watched the beginning of the clip, you guys saw me add in clip ins. So I wanted to address that. So. Like I got, uh, I kind of showed you guys, I do have scalp psoriasis in the front of my hair on my hairline. It got super bad when I went on my cruise to Jamaica and Mexico. Um, it was just flaking normal. And then like, now it's like two different colors. Like it almost looked like, was it vitiligo? Vitiligo, the skin lightening disease. That's what it's starting to look like. I don't think I have it. I think maybe I just got a tan. And since I had my hair um, in a protective style, then maybe like my skin got darker than my hair scalp. I don't know. Um, now it's kind of barely noticeable. Once I like grease it and moisturize it and stuff, it's not that noticeable. Um, but I did use this shampoo just in case you couldn't see. It's called Nizoro. Um, it's for psoriasis. It has salicylic acid in it. Um, and it's a shampoo and conditioner. And it does have tea tree oil. And um, I've been using that plus sulfur eight to help my scalp. So because I have all of that going on in the front of my head, I didn't put any tapings there because I knew I was gonna have to constantly wash it more than how I would wash the rest of my hair because um, it flakes up so much. Like maybe like every two to three days, I would just wash just the front of my head. So I didn't put any tapings in the front, but of course my hair in the front is super short um because i have scalp psoriasis so i do add in clip-ins to the front and then it also helps me with versatility so if i want to wear a side part one day i can switch it and all of that so there are no clip-ins from like here on down this is 
my hair i mean not no clippings no tapings it's my hair and clippings um but as far as the rest of the hair the hair is doing great it's super soft Y wigs did that these are my favorite tapings i've had i've only had two types of tapings and even though the first pair like if you've been watching my channel i did like a kinky straight um install of tapings i kind of like the silky straight more just because my hair is relaxed now what would have been a perfect match for me would have been a yaki straight which um why wigs they do have yaki straight they just sent me the silky straight so if you do want more of a texture that matches your uh, natural hair then get that um i haven't permed my hair or relaxed it in about a month or two um especially since my scalp psoriasis started acting up i didn't want to put nothing on it so my roots aren't the straightest my edges aren't the straightest but i kind of like this look i also didn't go in and flat iron my hair after i blow dried it i just curled it as it is so now i feel like the hair looks fuller and it kind of matches my texture of my hair uh a little better because it's just air dried as opposed to being straightened um but yeah i wash these tapings just like i wash my regular hair or if i had in a sew-in or whatever and it was fine like i have no complaints and then of course y'all saw me put in my flexi rods and then now i'm about to go i got plans today um but i want to thank white wigs for sending me this hair um and thank you guys for watching to see how i wash my hair if you guys like this type of things um one thing i will say is that whenever you do the conditioner because i did put conditioner on my hair just be careful um not to get it directly on the actual tape part because i feel like that's when people start to lose tape ins um but because i scrubbed my scalp separately um i have a method because of my scalp psoriasis i didn't really get any conditioner on my tape ins um as far as removing tape ins sometimes i use conditioner and then sometimes i use the salon pro super hair bond remover this is for quick weaves but i think it works on tape ins too it worked on a couple um in previous install but yeah this is my hair i think this is a way cuter install than the very first video but of course i've been wearing them for a while so now my hair is used to them they move i think like kind of like when you freshly install tape in sometimes it hurts you can't really maneuver them right away if you do them well if you do them wrong like me but maybe if you do them right you can but i know every time i've had tape ins i had to wait a couple of days before i can kind of do it how i want but now i'm at that space to where i can maneuver them and you know flip them up flip them down move it and all of that and the hair is fine i have literally no complaints so i want to thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe i have a link to these tapings down in the description box below and until next time bye guys